Hey cookmates, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make these finger licking good seal wings. They are so delicious. So we're going to start with making the dry rub for the wings and for that I'm going to be using some paprika, some onion powder, some garlic powder. I'm also going to be adding a little bit of brown sugar and some salt and I'm going to be using some dry thyme, some black pepper, crushed seasoning cubes and of course the star of the show suya pepper so as we all know suya pepper comes with different levels of seasoning depending on how much seasoning cubes or seasoning powder was added to it when it was being made for this recipe i use an averagely seasoned suya pepper which is what you probably have but if you notice that your suya pepper seasoning is on the high side or is on the low side definitely feel free to adjust that when you're making your wings here i have my already clean chicken wings and now I'm just patting it dry to remove as much moisture and as much liquid content as I can. Now you want to make sure that your chicken wings are not frozen because that will defeat the entire purpose because as it does, it will release some more liquid and that will just defeat all what we're doing now. Once I've removed as much liquid content as I could, I proceeded to add in some vegetable oil and once I added the vegetable oil, I kind of just massaged that into the chicken. Now, what this does is that it ensures for um, even coating and proper coating of the spices once I add them to the wings. So now I'm going to be adding the dry rub to the wings and to do this, I'm just going to kind of pour a little bit, toss the wings around, pour a little bit again and this is just to um, ensure for proper distribution of the spices. Once I have all my spice in the wings, I'm just going to massage the wings to ensure that the spices are incorporated into the chicken wings properly. Now I'm going to cover the wings with a plastic wrap and leave it to marinate. At this point, the wings have been sitting for about 30 minutes and now I'm just going to take off the plastic wrap and arrange the wings on a baking rack placed on a baking tray lined with aluminium foil. Now the reason for this is to allow for even distribution of heat on the wings as opposed to when it's just sitting directly in the baking tray. All the ingredients and the measurements I used for this are in the description box so definitely feel free to check that out. Also if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and also turn on your notification button and also please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Now the wings have been baking for about 25 minutes in an oven which was created to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and now I'm just going to be turning the chicken wings to the other side. The reason for doing this is to ensure that each part of the wing gets in direct contact with the heat from the top of the oven to give it a little bit of crisp. And now I'm just going to be returning the wings to the oven for another 20 minutes. And our wings are now ready. Just look at how beautiful it looks and it tastes so yummy. For the full suya experience, I served it with some suya pepper as well as some cucumbers, tomatoes and red onions. I hope you try out this recipe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my other videos. Bye! So yummy!